Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to do some rustic patriotic decor. I have this really cool cheese box. There's a little stamp on the side that says cheddar uh, block or something like that. It's very light, so it's hard to see, but I did see the cheddar on there. So I know there was cheddar cheese in there at least. So uh, I have this uh, burgundy color that I mixed up and I'm going to put that all around the bottom trim of this cheese box. This thing is very damaged. Uh, it came to me that way. Somebody had tried to fix it with screws and stuff and it just is a mess. But we're going to try to fix it up. So I have this wallpaper border that's very uh, patriotic. Uh, let freedom ring and um, liberty and all kinds of sayings on it. So I'm going to affix that to the side of this cheese box. And it is, um, it's a little wider than what the box is because I want to leave that trim. So I am going to pull it, I'll pull it down and I'll have to end up cutting it off once I get it stuck onto the box. So I'm just rolling it and making it see how long I need it so that I can cut it. And then this is pre-pasted wallpaper border, so I just run it under some water until it's wet and then I fold it on itself so that the, the glue part is stuck on itself. And then I let it sit for just a few seconds, like, I don't know, maybe like 30 seconds. Uh, and just kind of let it set and get all gluey and sticky and then I started rolling it onto the the box. Now I decided I was going to pull it down a little bit because when I put the lid on it does have a lip on it and I wanted that let freedom ring and all these sayings up on top uh, show through so I didn't want that to be covered up. So I pulled it down probably an inch, inch and a half from the top so that when you put that lid on it will um, it will show. So I'm just putting it on and rubbing it around and as I'm doing this I'm realizing wow this is gonna have a ton of wrinkles and I'm trying to smooth it out but it's really kinda of difficult on this rounded piece. Border is really supposed to be on flat wall and it's not a fan of getting uh, just wrapped around something so it did not really care for it but I made it kinda work uh, it's not perfect there's definitely some uh, gaps and uh, bunches and stuff like that but I made it work so uh, I cut I trimmed off so that you could see the the burgundy trim and then I went down and sanded at the top of the box it was pretty roughed up. It needed to be sanded so that I could add this antique wax to the top and just give it a nice stained look. This is just antique wax, nothing fancy. My brush might be a little bit wet from washing it from a previous uh, project, but it is pretty much just the straight antique wax. And I'm just brushing it all on and getting it down in the cracks the best I can. And then I'm gonna go back and uh, wipe it back so that you can see the wood grain through the stain or the wax. So now I'm taking my burgundy paint again and on the edge of the lid where the lip is I am just putting my burgundy paint on there all the way around and I did only one coat that's all I think it needed because I will be distressing it back and it just makes it a little bit easier to do that. So I taking, I'm taking some uh, sandpaper and going along that burgundy and I did the same to the top and also the cracks on the lid. So I'm taking the hot glue and trying to go underneath the wallpaper down around the bottom a little bit. It's kind of puckered up and it doesn't want to stick at all. So I put a little bit of glue under there and then I'm just rubbing it down trying to get it to stick. I still have some edges that I can't quite get underneath so I'm taking my jute rope and I'm going around the bottom 
right along that the top of that trim to hold down the uh, wallpaper border but I also I think I think I don't know it looks pretty good so this is pretty damaged on the side I trimmed it up a little because it had some jagged spots and I also glued it and added the clip to hold it together while it dried This project is going to be using five pieces of wood. They're a little bit thicker than a paint stick or a paint stir. I cut them down a little bit thicker than that, but this is just out of scrap wood. And I just cut the edges off. I got five of them. We're going to be making a wooden star. So once they're all uh, stained up with the antique I just use antique wax just regular antique wax and I put it all over and then wiped it back and I'm going to use my Gorilla Glue and my hot glue and we're going to put this star together now you want to lay this out first you want to over uh, lay the edges over the top so that you can glue them together so I make kind of a two-sided triangle first uh, if that makes sense and then uh, we go across and just keep going back and forth like that it's kind of hard to explain but hopefully I'm showing you okay and then you just want to make sure your edges are um, right together and then you can just once you get it together you can kind of tweak it the way I'm showing you and making it how you want so you basically just keep tweaking it until you get it just so and then you can start putting your glue on. So I take a little bit of the wood glue and then just underneath that, not on the wet part of the wood glue, but just underneath that I put a little bit of hot glue and that's going to hold it instant pretty much and then the wood glue once that dries will hold it more sturdy and for a more long term. So I do all the points first and then any points or places that are touching in the middle or anywhere else like that, I do that as well. So I did the top and then now this bottom right. And now I'm going to switch this middle piece to be on top on both sides. Uh, don't ask me why, I don't know. I just like my star to be like that. Uh, so I just switch that around and then give it a glue and then hot glue and then that should be nice and secure so that I can move on to the next part of this. So once I let it set for a little bit and just cure up I sanded down the edges and anywhere that I wanted it to be a little bit lighter and then I went down and found a bunch of scrap pieces of red white blue burlap uh, drop cloth, anything that I could find that I could tear up and make strips because we're going to make a rag bow. I'm getting to really love these rag bows. I just love the different colors that you can put into them and it's just kind of a messy, I just like it. It's just kind of a messy bow. So uh, I'm cutting four strips of the red, I guess pretty much everything. The blue I have two different colors. It's more of a checked um, different checks so I only did two each of those but I figured I would do the red the white or the drop cloth and then the blue and that's how that's gonna go so I wanted to tell you about this collaboration what would you make I've done this for a few months now and I really love this collab and this is put on by OK at home DIY that's Zena and then Connie's creative creations and then David at David Owen Creates. These are all such creative people. And then there will also be there will be the links to their channels down in the description and also a link to the playlist of all the awesome other 
creators that will be joining in this collaboration, so make sure you go down and check them out. So after I got my crazy stack of rag pieces all put together, I took a piece of twine, flipped it over, and I'm tying it in the back. I'm trying to do it tight, but it's really kind of hard to get it tight, but the tighter the better on that, I think. And then it's more about fluffing and spreading it out and just getting all the different pieces all spread out around so you can see them all. Then I decide where I'm going to put it, which is going to be right there on the left part of the star as you're looking at it. And I'm gluing that down. And then I went and found a rusty star to put on top of that. And I thought that was a nice touch. And then more fluffing and primping and just making it look nice. I have this patriotic rub-on that I got from Dollar Tree. And I decided I would use that as on a tag. I'm going to use this big USA. I think that's going to look really cool. So I'm peeling that off and sticking it on. So these aren't stickers, it's a rub-on. So you stick it down on there and you just rub that coloring off onto the tag. So I started to check to see if it was stuck and this one is really difficult so you really got to push hard and just keep rubbing it. So now it's stuck really nicely and I think that looks so cool. I love it. It's all shiny. So then I'm going to take a little bit of my, uh, I think this was the uh, plaster color in the Waverly that was on that brush and just go around and over the top just to dull it down just a little bit and make it a little more distressed and uh, just make it pop a little bit more. Now you're going to see in this next clip, I did wrap the edges with some twine. I thought it would look nice and also hold it together a little bit better. So you will see it when it's finished. Hope you like my patriotic decor that I did today and make sure you go down in the description and check out the playlist and the link to my Etsy store. I will have some new items linked in there. Thank you for watching and take care.